Hey, Marker! And action! I had the pleasure of uh, being on board f uh, from the beginning, and uh, it started off really good. The scripts were tight, the actors were ready, and everybody seemed to be gelling in, um, in, a, in a way that brought the show right up to, to a high level uh, from the onset. And every year, uh, progressively meets a higher standard for all of us. What are you? What the hell happened to you? I got into a fight. Guy sicked his dog on me. Is that the dog did that? Yeah. Had to go to emergency. Did you get the black eye? Well, I was trying to get the dog off, and the guy punched me. What, did you have him picked up? <laughs> no, I, I was, uh, was kind of loaded. I got to get back over there to the spot where we fought. Um, I lost my gun. Oh. To be partnered up with Donnelly Rhodes and playing a homicide detective uh, in Da Vinci's Inquest is like a dream part for an actor like me. Because um, uh, I have a really good sense of what's going on already, but, w it, but being with Donnelly, he's got a really grand, grand sense of what's going on. I'm drawing a blank. Think back to your last drink. Hey, Mick. Hey, Leo. How's it going? It's slow. Any developments on the brother Vern? Nothing. He's camping out up in Indian Arm trying to get himself straightened out. I got pictures of the other two off their driver's licenses. What the hell happened to you? Dog attack. Hey, I, I, I took a cab from, from uh, the booze cab to emergency. Do well, you remember which cab company? No. Everybody keeps on constantly saying, how wonderful that we are together. They love the way we are together, our rela you know, the way we work together on screen. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for Ian, and partly because he has a great deal of respect uh, for me. And, uh, he's a wonderful actor. Working with those guys is just awesome. I feel like I'm really part of a family. I feel um, encouragement from those guys. I feel digs from those guys, which means I think they like me, <laughs> you know, and um, I never feel like I'm just out there flailing without any type of life support. You're going to see the hit back there, I'm going to speed up a little bit walking through here. You want me? Never actually made it to a theater school and had any formal training at all. But there are a lot of different types of actors and there's a place for me to fit in with what I know and uh, I'm happy, I feel very fortunate. I guess to kind of uh, portray the idea that you've seen a lot, I think really you have to look to the, to, to the darker sides of your city. A police officer and a, a, a bad guy, a person of uh, you know, a criminal mind, let's say, um, are in a way the flip side of the coin. So it's a, it's a, it's a big battle, but they're playing on the same field. Who's dead? Your children are dead? Were they wearing these clothes? I couldn't save them. Where do you live? You live around here? Yeah. On the way back, near the school. Can you show us where that is? I'm drizzly a little bit. What? You don't look so good. Michael, you feeling okay? Uh, the tone that is being set by Chris Haddock and the writers is very real. There's no filler. Every moment counts. We don't have to fake anything.